Hello students, today we study chapter number 1, Reproduction in Organism. Under this chapter, there are two points, 1.1, asexual reproduction, 1.2, sexual reproduction. Both these points come under chapter 1 and chapter 1 come under unit 6, reproduction. Introduction. The period of birth to natural death of an organism is called lifespan. So lifespan is nothing but a period from birth to natural death of an organism. Here, one important thing is that size of the organism is not related with the lifespan. If you observe this diagram, crow and the parrot, the size is almost same, but the lifespan differs. Crow lifespan 15 years, whereas parrot lifespan 140 years. So, size of the organism is not related to the lifespan. Next point is definition of reproduction. Reproduction is a biological process in which an organism gives rise to young ones or offsprings. Reproduction enables the continuity of species generation after generation. This is the significance of the reproduction. It is required for continuity of species generation after generation. There are two types of reproduction, namely asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is pro reproduction by a single parent without fusion of gametes. Formation of gametes will be there, but no fusion of gametes. Whereas sexual reproduction, it is a reproduction in which two parents of opposite sex involves with the formation and fusion of gametes. So in asexual reproduction, formation of gamete is there, but no fusion of gametes. In sexual reproduction, both formation and fusion of gametes occur. Asexual reproduction is uniparental, single parent. Sexual re reproduction is biparental. Modes of asexual reproduction. The different modes of asexual reproduction are fission, there are binary fission, multiple fission, budding, spore formation and vegetative propagation. These are the modes of asexual reproduction. Asexual reproductive structures. Here, asexual reproductive structures are generally motile microscopic zoospores, then conidia, which is observed in penicillin, buds are present in hydra and gemmules are present in sponges. So, Zoospores, conidia, birds and gemmules, they are asexual reproductive structures. Vegetative propogils. So these are the <coughs> vegetative propogils present in the plants, the runners, oxalis, sucker, mint, tuber, potato, offset, water, hyacinth, pistia, bulb, onion, garlic, rhizome, it is present in ginger, bulbil, agave and leaf buds are present in the bryophyla. So these are all vegetative propogils structures present in the different plants. Our main point is to be studied sexual reproduction. So sexual reproduction is mainly biparental in which fusion and formation of gametes takes place. It also involves mitosis and meiosis and there are three types of events are there present in the sexual reproduction. Pre-fertilization events, fertilization events and post-fertilization events. So pre-fertilization events which occur before fertilization, post-fertilization events occur after fertilization and Fertilization events, they occur during the fertilization. So pre-fertilization events are gametogenesis and gamete transfer. Fertilization, external fertilization, internal fertilization. And post-fertilization events are zygote formation and embryogenesis. So 
these are the events occur during the sexual reproduction pre fertilization fertilization and post fertilization these are the main events and under these main events there are sub events are there now we'll study one by one in brief the first pre fertilization events or changes first is the gametogenesis gametogenesis genesis means formation gametes are formed it is a process of formation of haploid male and female gametes in gonads the gametes which are always haploid chromosome number is n number of chromosome is formed and <coughs> it they are formed in the gonads the process is called gametogenesis gametes may be homogametes or heterogametes homogametes means which are similar in shape and size where, whereas heterogametes which are dissimilar morphologically in heterogametes the male gamete is called anthrozoids or sperm the female gamete is called ovum if the parent body is haploid gametes are form mitosis so <clears throat> if the parent body is haploid then the they are formed by the mitosis mitosis it is a equational division whereas diploid if the parent body is diploid the gametes are formed by meiosis meiosis it is a reductional division diploid the parent body is diploid 2n so reductional division occurs and haploid gametes are formed and if the parent body is haploid then the mitosis process occur mitosis it is a equational division and meiosis it is a reductional division an organism may be homothallic monoecious or heterothallic dioecious so <clears throat> that is a uh, bisexual or unisexual bisexual means both male and female reproductive organs are present in the same organism whereas unisexual means the only one reproductive organ will be present either male or female and that condition is called as a homothallic condition monoecious or bisexual whereas the other is heterothallic dioecious or unisexual next is the gamete transfer fusion of male and female gametes is called fertilization when the haploid male and female gametes are formed they will form the diploid zygote and that process is called fertilization generally in the plant pollination is the method of gamete transfer in higher plants as pollen grains contain male gametes pollination occur in case of a plants and in case of a animals the special mechanism for gamete transfer is copulation next is the fertilization it results in the formation of diploid zygote just now i have told you haploid male and female gametes fuses and they will give rise to diploid zygote in some animals like rotifers honey bees some lizards birds turkey female gamete develops into organism without fertilization such phenomenon is called parthenogenesis female gamete develops into new organism without fertilization then the process is called parthenogenesis and it is observed in these animals honey bees rotifers some lizards and birds like turkey types of fertilization external fertilization internal fertilization syngamy syngamy means fusion of gametes occur outside the body of organism when it occurs in the surrounding generally in the water then it is called as a external fertilization syngamy occurs inside the body of organism generally inside the female body syngamy means fusion of gametes large number of gametes male and female are released into the surrounding medium example is bony fish and amphibians amphibians like frog male and female frogs release the gametes and fusion takes place in the water that type of reproduction is the fertilization that type of a fertilization is external fertilization fertilization is taking place outside the body in the surrounding medium whereas in internal fertilization number of ova are released but large number of male gametes are formed 
example birds mammals earthworms human beings they perform the internal fertilization so fertilization takes place inside the female body these are the two types of fertilization next is the post fertilization events the events after zygote formation is called post fertilization events zygote develops into an embryo embryogenesis involves cell division and cell growth or enlargement cell differentiation the main events are cell division and cell differentiation with the help of these two processes embryogenesis occur embryogenesis genesis means formation embryo is formed from the zygote and the process is called embryogenesis and two main processes are cell division and cell differentiation in oviparous animals zygote development occurs outside the female body they are egg laying example is the reptiles and birds so there are two types of animals oviparous and viviparous in oviparous animals the <coughs> these animals lay their eggs example is the reptiles and birds in viviparous animals zygote development occurs inside the female body they give birth to young individuals example is the mammals including the human being <coughs> here the zygote development occurs inside the female body in plant zygote is formed inside the ovule where it develops into embryo then ovule becomes the seed and ovary into fruit germination of seeds produce the new plants so in plants always you will find that the ovule is becomes the seed and ovary into the fruit and the zygote is formed inside the ovule and germination of the seeds produce the new plant so here the types of animals oviparous and viviparous animals lay fertilized or unfertilized egg give birth to the young individuals eggs have calcareous shell to protect from the harsh environment no shell they are protected inside the mother's body so oviparous animal and the viviparous animals the difference is that here the development takes place inside the egg and here the development takes place in the mother's body with this we have completed chapter number 1 and in that we have studied the two types of reproduction asexual reproduction and the sexual reproduction thank you